Hello everybody, and I've just realised we're not actually seeing the game for some reason, so I should have probably done that while I was setting up. Let's just get that set up for you guys. You can see me, however. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Why am I not seeing the game? There we go, you should be seeing it now. Sorry about that. I do not quite know what happened there, but yeah. Obviously, let me know if, let me know if you have any issues with seeing anything. Other than that, guys, we're going to just jump straight in here. So, yeah, questions are more than welcome, by the way, guys. So, fire away with any questions that you want to at all. Um... Yeah, let's jump in. As you can probably tell from the title, we are in Imperator Rome 2.0. As you can probably already tell, a hell of a lot has changed. Apologi apologies, I didn't get to stream it earlier when one or two others were. Simply, I was stuck in work, unfortunately. Um, let's just check my camera position. Yeah, that's good. There we go. So, new game. As you can tell from the continue button, I have been having a bit of a practice. Yep. Don't forget to like the stream, guys, if you, <laughs> it gets more people to see it. Um, and as you can tell from the title, guys, we are going to be playing as Macedon, or Macedon, as Cassandros, uh, with uh, Cassandra, with the, the whole event. So we get the heritage of Cassandros as our buff for these guys, which is 5% uh, extra manpower, lower diplomatic rep 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 reputation. I can't talk today. Um, and plus two relationship, relations, um, honestly guys, I've not decided completely on my objective, by all means let me know, let me know what you think, obviously my first objective is to do the first mission, which is basically securing Greece, um, and obviously we've got lots of powers around us from my test playthroughs. They do seem to grow a lot a lot quicker now. Um, certainly I've done a couple of test plays today um, where Rome became scary, as did the Antigonids. The Antigonids have not split up in one of in three playthroughs I've done since I've had access to just practice it. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we're going to be jumping into Mastodon, and I'll... First thing I'm going to do, guys, is have a lovely big talk through this U new UI. And, again, any questions, by all means, let me know. Why has it got phrase selected? No, it's definitely got Mastodon selected there. And um, let's go nuts and do it on Iron Man, guys. <laughs> I may regret this, but I'm going to try this on Iron Man. So, uh... Hopefully get achievements, which are finally working for me now. I had huge issues with achievements working on this. Um, let's do this. Macedon stream for it. There we go. And there we go. Alexander the Great. 18 years ago, the Agriot King Alexander III died suddenly in Babylon at the age of 32. In the five years preceding his death, his continuing military successes had reshaped the world as known to the Greeks, his empire stretching uninterrupted from Egypt to the Indus. The suddenness of Alexander's early death and his lack of a chosen successor sent shock waves through the hierarchy of the satraps and generals uh, who attended him, splintering his empire into elements ruled by potentates styled as the Diadachi. For many years, they and their successors have been locked in a bitter struggle over the future of the Empire, drawing all nations within their sphere of influence into the conflict. The wars of Diadachi, or Diadachi, I don't exactly know how that's meant to be pronounced, uh, will surely continue. Perhaps it is up to Macedon. Or Macedon to decide how they will end. Yeah, the UI. I'm I'm with you there, coding. The UI looks very Stellaris to me. Um, what do you mean by clicking on Babylon? I'm not sure what you're meaning there. 
by seeing uh, Lion. Um, you talking about the Wonder? Because we've got one back home as well uh, here. Uh, but basically, yeah. Anyway, first thing first, guys, massive rework of the UI and military. So all of your usual stuff is down here. All of your sort of uh, culture, all your bits and pieces, and obviously everything else up here. Uh, all of your, um, not mana anymore, but mana. All of your useful stuff is up here, and a whole load of new maps, including the lovely, lovely Atlas mode, which just makes the world, world look so pretty. Oh yeah, the text in nested tooltips. I didn't even think about that. It does seem... So the text in nested tooltips works very much like it does on Crusader Kings 3. But it is a little buggy. I... Um, I am in an early access build, so bugs do happen. Um, you know, you've just got to be aware of that. But yeah, so it seems you see the bar at the side and then I can go into it. It's, oh, where is it? The best way to show it. It's highlighted things. So if I click on something, I'm trying to find one I can do a nested into a nested into a nested now. I can't right now. But yeah, it, it works exactly as it does in Crusader Kings 3 with the nested tooltips. So if you find a tooltip, you know, wait until that bar goes, you can go into it. And sometimes you can click on other things. I should have looked at that on the start. Uh, anyway, first thing first, let's sort out our I. But first thing first, I'm going to look at the military tab because that's where all the big changes are so obviously as one of the diadaki i do start with a legion unlocked most nations do not um so i start with a small legion of 5k um i could up it i'm not going to yet um obviously i can view the history so cause, uh, what we've the uh, stuff we've already done and obviously I've got my military traditions here. And there you go. So Macedon, where we can we can go into that one, and then we can go into that one. <laughs> so the nested things work exactly as it's highlighted like that, and if it was just highlighted like that, you can go over. Um, the first one weirdly gives you more freemen, but that's actually really important because your levies are created based on your population. Um, your integrated population as well so it's something you really do want to be paying attention to so for example in greece down here because i've got far less integrated pops i get far less uh far less levies whereas in macedon itself i have far more um i have far more pops of my of um Macedonian, Macedonian culture, so I'm getting far more from them. Um, and obviously, I'm not as big as, say, the Antigonids, but the issue I suspect the Antigonids will have is they have very few people of their culture, which means while some of these guys are very big, it doesn't necessarily mean they can field huge armies because they come from integrated cultures, which is quite nice. Again, for anybody who's just dropped in, uh, questions, you're more than welcome to ask questions, guys. Just fire away with any questions um, and shout at me until I notice it. Uh, okay, so nation overview here. We are, obviously we have our, um, our decisions down here now and administration, which gives us a bit more information and provinces. And all of these have got new things. You can anoint a different air, which is really nice. And something I may well be doing, the reasons we'll come to later. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, it, it's quite cool. Um, oh yeah, and inventions do work a bit differently. I need to assign somebody here. Um, so obviously your inventions all work a bit differently too. And you've got access to a huge range of things. Um... And all of these things with little banners are special things you get for your faction. Um, which is quite cool. But actually, to start with, let's have a quick look. Ooh, that's... Colonize. Ooh. Clooney. Uh, allows formation of a league city subjects from your city territories. Interesting. Um... <sighs> The issue is Roman auxiliaries came from integrated cultures, so 
it's by that point Rome was actually integrating most people because by the end of Rome they considered most citizens Ro Roman. Um, certainly, you know, so if you lived in Londinium, you'd actually consider yourself Roman, is my understanding. Whereas in the early days, Rome relied far more on its own. And as you go on, you can obviously integrate more cultures and people get integrated into you more. Um, and oratory advances is... Um, anything you want to look at on these, by the way, let me know. So, ooh, popularity game. Unintegrated culture happiness is very nice. Thug? I don't know what that is. Integrated ho ca culture happiness. There's so many really cool things. Um, which I want, if I'm honest. Um, but some really good ones here to start with. Uh, here. Oh, where is it? Census data, which just gives me more citizens. Which is good. Um, and if you've got a planning mode, you can put on to pre-plan things. So to start with, I am going down to getting legal patronage, so loyalty, which is always really good. Um, I don't really care about this one, but it's on the way to census data, which just gives me more freemen. And the levies don't come from freemen, I believe, if we go look back at them. Uh... Is this, yeah, pops belong to a pop type, for example, citizens. So I don't know if these, I think these might just come from citizens rather than freemen. Um, not that it's telling me anywhere and I don't have anything I can click on to double check that. Um, but I'm fairly sure they just come from citizens. So obviously we want the ability to level people up relatively quickly. Um, I actually quite like the idea of some extra diplomatic relations because we are going to be grabbing lots of vassal swarms because the really nice thing now is vassal swarms work really, really well for you because obviously they have their own culture, therefore they get more levies. Um, that's quite good. It's looking at the specific things for us as well. Monthly influence, extra 10% monthly influence is quite nice too. Uh, let's have a look down these ones. Oh, and aggressive expansion reductions. Again, early game, I quite like these. So I'm not going for the military ones, oddly, which feels weird because I like the military ones, but these ones just feel better from having had a look. I've not played as much as I possibly could have. That's really um, releasing subjects. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I'm definitely not down to the absolute, you know, meta of what's best to go down here. I'm fairly sure some people will be picking that apart soon. Um, so this one, aggressive expansion reduction or, oh, Mastodon gains 5,000, uh, manpower. That seems nice. And then Defending Liberty, Aggressive Expansion Impact Reduction, and an Extra Diplomatic Relation. Okay. And I've got one more. Divine Mandate, reducing the impact a bit more from Aggressive Expansion to keep me stable. Um, yeah. The loyalty system is still as it was, but again, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in, on in the background here for quite a while. I'm going to go for the standard sort of ideas, guys, so I'm going to go for the extra morale at the start, and uh, ooh, do, 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 extra loyalty, and improve in pin opinion buff there. Do I want to expand the gold mines? Yes. Cost me 100, but basically gives me more resources. Oh, okay, let's go back and have a look at planning mode in text. Where are the text? Technology here. Um, so you can just click on planning mode and you can literally just click through. So to where you want and it'll show you what you've planned. Then when you come off, it's a slightly different cut. That's new. That wasn't in the stuff they were showing off the other day. Um, so yeah. I love Streamlabs giving my two statement, my, my two things the wrong way around there. 
But yeah, so it shows you where you want to go if you wanted to. Um, which is quite nice. So you can plan what you want to do right at the start. So you could literally have it planned. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, why doesn't it tell me what that is? I assume that's a, I want your, I want to take you over. Um, but yeah, I've not gone for all of these. I'm not going to pretend I have. By the way, how's my audio, guys? Let me know if it's a bit loud or quiet or whatever. Um, omen, 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 omen. Uh, to start with, I am going to, we've got fairly basic ones, I am going to go for the ones which buffs my wages. Well, lowers my wages even, and I need to assign a commander to my navy. I'm going to go for second best. Oh, and I'm going to merge those two into one. I'll put them onto independent. Really? Did I misspell store? <laughs> oh yes, I did. <laughs> cool, I will tweak that down a bit. Better? Anyway, uh, we've got a disloyal character. We've not got any civil war issues, so I'm not going to worry too much about that at the moment. We've got a bad research ratio. There's not much I can do about that. So first thing first, let's look at our missions. Again, guys, absolutely feel free to shout at me, ask anything. Um, Antipatros's legacy. Um, the heirs of wide Antipatros are ah, by rights owed this kingdom through the, their toil and sacrifice he spent to hold through the toil and sacrifice he spent to hold it together while Alexander chased his fantasies eastwards. The Agriad heirs of Cassandros are mere capstone. So protect the legacy by defending Macedon and from the other Diadaki and securing her sphere of influence. Let's start this mission. Uh, rightful heirs. Antipa Antipatros was a great ruler, governing Macedon while Alexander went east, and defending her from opportunists who sought her undoing in the wake of the king's death. His eldest son, Cassandros, a friend of the, the Agriad king, has chased Ant Antipatros, his Ill illegitimate successor, Polychiron, out of Maston claiming the throne for the Antipatriot family and removing the threat of Alexander Ill, of Alexander illeg, illegitimate foreign heir I assume it's meant to be Alexander's illegitimate foreign heir and their bastard for the sake of the country. The Antagonids stand strong in the east but they have made few friends uh, in their fortune. We must ensure Antipatros's work is not undone by securing the continuation of his dynasty through Cassandros's legitimate Agriad heirs by Alexander's half-sister. Thressalalike. Could do, could do. Um, I don't think we've got them yet in our city buildings, but... There are lots of new buildings and certainly things you don't have unlocked to start with, which is quite cool. Um, mission can be completed. The dregs of Pagonia. Uh, we want to do this to get down this one anyway. So, yeah. Uh, Maston owns Amphrilos. What do we gain? We gain 400 gold, but we lose some manpower. That, that, that's still worth it. Since before the Athenians' arrival, so yeah, this is basically we're, we're mining out a mine to gain some money. Oh, let's sort out my trade. Hang on, trade, 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 trade. 
I'm going to accept both of those anyway. Trade overview, accept all trades, block surplus. And the other thing which is really, really, really nice now is in administration, I can open up Greece and I can set them to automatic. I could do it in my own, but I'm not so fussed about my own. Um, yeah, I can set them to automatically trade. Um, so if they've got trade to do, they'll they'll do it. In fact, I'm going to do that for everywhere but my capital. Because it only tells you if you've got capital trade routes not full fulfilled. That will mean they'll sort trade themselves and I don't have to worry about it. And it will make me lots extra moolah. So let's have a look at the other things. For the for folly, I need to take Chalkis. I'm not quite ready to uh, go annoying um, the Antigonids just yet. And the Aurelian question. Um, so for, to complete this one, I Epidamus need, and Tarantula... Taltinia exists or is owned by... It's basically, I need to go to all of these guys to uh, take them to... Uh, complete that one. Let's just check it. So this is where this doesn't always work. The um, There are definitely still some bugs, but I am in an early access build. So the um, nesting wasn't quite working there. So we're going to go to war with these guys now. So I'm going to um, I think I've got... Do I have a... Ah, I've got a... For, for Billis. Um, and they are allied with Epirus, so I'm going to be going to war with both of them, which is fine. I can do that. So first thing first, let's raise my levies. And mass everything here, ready to push through the gap. I don't think I can actually go to war just yet. No, I can't go to war until the 1st of November, so that gives me a bit of time before we do anything. No, we're no longer trading grain. Oh, it's because I lost a thing. So we're not going to be subtle here. We are going to be very aggressive uh, to push into these guys early on and try and get these guys brought in as loyal subjects of uh, of Macedon early. And let's see if anybody else is doing anything yet. No, nobody else has actually started anything yet. My two teeny little feudatories to help. Ah, take it for us. Yeah, that works. So I only actually need to take this little bit of territory to start ticking the war score the way we want. I want to be a bit careful pushing through here. And the really nice thing is actually I don't need to take, spend time doing all the territories. So once, as soon as I capture here, all of the regions outside. So basically, if you capture the region capital, it will... um. If you, before we deal with this, if you capture the regional capital, everything else will automatically fall to you now. So once I capture here, everything will fall to me within that within that province region, with the province, um, and the same with here and here, which is quite cool. Unless there's fortifications, then you've got to take over fortifications. Okay. Anyway, the wars of the Diadachi. Diadachi. Have they built the largest empire the world has ever seen? Alexander the Great died suddenly. 18 years ago, with no clear successor to the Empire, his generals since fought over the spoils, coming to be known as the Diadaki successors. Or successors. Our ruler, Cassandros of Mastodon, is the son of Antipatros, who was the most senior of Alexander's generals. And after the previous regent, Perdiccas, is murder, given the honour to guard Alexander's heirs until his son came of age. Upon his own father's death, Cassandros ousted his appointed successor, Polypacon, Con, and with the help, help from his father's enemies, ultimately killing Alexander's heirs and their mothers. Yeah. 
Antigonus is perhaps the most successful of Diodaki. Uh, but success breeds enemies, and now he stands alone, vulnerable. His meddling with the Greek states continues. Okay, so yeah, we now gain claims on everything. I mean, at this point, they are they are fairly realistic because they're based off what you've got. Ooh, I need to do a little bit of bribing. I don't really want to be facing a civil war. And I now have claims on all of this. I don't think I'm going to war with it. But the thing to remember is these guys don't have a huge amount of pops. So actually, while the Antigonids are big and Thrace are big, they're not as powerful as you would think because they don't have as many... Because their cult, main culture is Ma Macedonian and they don't have a huge amount of Macedonian pops. So while they'll start with a legion, their levies will be... Um, L lesser? You're gonna stay in the pass. No, you're gonna come down and join here. Antigonid sails. Ooh. Our soldiers at the coast have begun reporting a great mass of Antigonid sails on the horizon. The Antigonids were bound to turn their attention to Macedon once, once again after the siege of Rhodes and our generals urge us to act with haste. Oops, maybe I'm in the wrong place. Hey man, how you doing? The more moderate members of our council, however, suggest that a little time might be bought by conceding our last remaining holding in the Penopolis, effectively abandoning hope. Uh, Corinthus, Corinthus begins, uh, becomes owned. Ooh. Damn it, why did I start this war, guys? Hmm. We cannot defer. Prepare for war. This may be very, very foolish. Let's hire some mercenaries. I should not have started this war already. I have kind of messed myself up a bit. But what's a game without a little fun? And if I can bloody the Antigonid's nose straight away, I mean, so long as I don't lose. Uh, oh, incomplete storage. God damn it, my province lost some food. Where is where are my boats? You I want here so I can start moving armies around better. You are gonna head down here to support. I have certainly uh, made things fun for myself straight away, guys. That's for sure. Oh god, the Antigonids already have quite big forces here. I need to end this war quite quickly, actually. Are we gonna sit here for now? So long as I can hold for a while, I'm okay. I mean, so long as I've not already murdered myself. Yeah. You guys are going to go on to auto so you can run away and hide without me paying attention. Oh, god damn. Especially as they've got a 60k stack of ships I do not want to get caught behind. They joined them. Oh, okay. Let's try and catch the Iparites there. Let's 
go smash the Athenians quickly while we've got the chance. This place is beginning to fall. I'm running a bit low on cash. Yeah, I I did not make a good decision by declaring war on these guys straight away. I forgot this about this event. Uh, pay our soldiers. Oh, we gain. Yeah, I could do without money at the moment. Hmm. Oh, there's some mercs down here somewhere I can hire. I don't want to go nuts. I'll be able to afford them for a few turns. They can start heading down here to support. Gives me a reasonably sized army down here. Come on. Oh god, fall back. Oh, bugger, I'm gonna get caught there. Damn it. I was a little too cocky there. Damn. However, we're doing well here. And once I've done that, I can push down here. I can peace out relatively quickly. I would like to get Iparus, but if I'm, I'm not going to suicide for it. If I could bring this army down, I would be in a much, much better position. I am running low on supplies. It's not worth it for the extra money. hit them and then take that and the fact I've got all that means all that gets. Ooh. The protection offered by the Akun have made a lasting impression. Um, they go stop go from being a tributary to yeah, that, that's I'm good. That means I can bring them in long run. Yes, I will accept an alliance from Frace. Ah, oh, they won't accept the call to arms. Briefly said I could. Let's go capture that, which means the war score will start ticking my way here nicely. That's not really something I can answer. I'm not allowed to do something which would be constrict const, could be constrained as rev I don't want to do anything which would could be construed as reviewing the game if you see what I mean because it could get because I'm not meant to review the game before the official release time date. But I've been playing this game since it first came out, so they are landing a 16k stack there. I need to pay attention to that. Let's smash them then we're going to bring everything north. Let's try and end this. Make them my client. I would have liked to get Iparus as well, but that, that can wait. That does complete my mission, the Aurelian question. Uh, yeah, we, we're going to suppress their culture a bit, but you know what? I don't care. Dominate Iparus, that's going to be our next one from that tree. I'll have to turn go back to deal with that, but... God damn it, the issue here is they literally take my territory when they take it. Let's try and push through to Chalkis there. Because these type of wars, they literally just take it. Yeah, I'll join that war. It doesn't really affect me massively. Ah, 
I need to get here and deal with that quickly because that is absolutely knackering me. Ooh, well, Frace is involved as well. That's going to help. Ascendant in Th Thassos. We have been told of a major industrial accident. Oh, I can't afford to lose the money at the moment. Sorry, guys. Ooh, come on. You can do better than that. Nice thing is if I capture here, I actually capture it utterly. I am being a bit risky here. Let's get straight in there and smash them. I think I have messed this up. I think I should have. Uh, Thrace are already at war with them as well. Oh god, how do they get behind me there? I hate Diadaki Wars. Diadachi Wars. They are a pain in the butt. However, you can grab a lot of territory. See, I could have gone to war with Frace at this point and ripped them to pieces, which would have been fun. Oh, one of the fabled veterans has returned. Well, he can get citizenship. He is a, the Silver Spears, the personal guard. You know, they're not in my war. They're in their own war with them. So I might be able to call them into this war, but they are already at war themselves. They went to war a minute ago. Um... See, so yeah, I can't call them into war, but they are in war themselves, so. <laughs> you don't need to be able to see the war score, because war score, let's, uh. Oh, let me. There you go. We're currently losing, but that's because they've taken territory, so that, that's not going to be too difficult to fix. What's weird is I don't think these wars quite work with the new scheme, because obviously you're just taking territory, so if you take the capital, it doesn't take everything. Come on, I want here to fall before they can muster against me. For it. Ah. It's a bit risky, but I think I'll get it. Ooh, if my other army gets in quick enough. Oh god, why is my other army not here? Damn it! Took too long for my other army to get in there. I should have moved them together. I'm not gonna win that. Uh, Cassandros reasons I'm going to begin to view with jealousy and distrust. Ooh. Let's get something else to help my uh, guys. Come on, you can win this! You can win this! You can still win this! Oh. Damn it. Come on, Merkstack. <laughs> you can get there in time. I have better troops. Why am I losing this? That Merkstack gets there. I am kind of skinting myself. Here's going well. That's been recapped by one of my vassals. God damn it, but hopefully the mercs will just smash them. No. 
That's fine. They're so weakened I can go and hit them again. I've probably just killed... Now, the problem here is I've probably just murdered a load of pops because your levies actually reflect your population. God damn, this is not going well at the moment, guys. I'm just going to pull out. There's no point in suiciding. So annoying, I was getting close to taking there as well. Right, we're gonna remuster back a little bit as a group and then hit them as a group, guys. I need to up my income a bit. Have these guys actually joined my war? Yes. I should have given up Corinthos to, uh, I should, oh god damn it! Uh, no, I don't actually want to give them military access because they could happily step on this territory. No, I think I've just been unlucky. I could have not, I could have chosen to not fight this war, but I was foolish. And if I hadn't been fighting over here and I'd been able to bring everything to bear straight away, actually, I'd have probably... Oh, thank God. No, basically, it was my own silly fault, effectively. This should fall reasonably quickly. Scandal, I don't care. Right now, I'm too busy fighting this goddamn war. Once I've got here back, and I can actually start bringing these guys back down, I should be able to push through Greece to capture quite a bit of territory. So it's by no means lost, it's just by no means won. Oof. Let's move you guys in there. It's that Merc stack. No, that's my actual army. They are mercenaries. They may just get thrown at the walls. You're going to start heading down here. My actual army, this Merc stack, is going to get let have some fun here. Ordering the assault, because I don't care if mercenaries die, guys. Breaching the walls. They're going to fall back, but they are going to hold up there. So the Antigonids are now, thankfully, hitting Thrace rather than me. Oh god, they're coming through that way. Uh, I'm going to risk it and bring everything down. God, come on, reinforcements. I would really like to get Chalkis, because that's actual mission thing as well. If my reinforcements get in here, we will win with ease. Oh, wait, what's this war? The Boetian Republic. 
I'm not quite sure what happened there. They're not going to last long. <laughs> right, let's recapture these bits of territory. We are bringing this equal now. Sorry, guys. That was a terrible start to this war. Um, because I'd gone to war somewhere else, stupidly. Cult of air. I can soak for stability here. However, my income is getting a bit painful, which is going to start making my mercenaries not like me. There's ways of dealing with that. Let's murder all of my mercenaries up here. Guys are gonna go straight to Chalkis. Let's just assign somebody else there. Basically, I'm gonna send the Mercs first, because if the Mercs die, I don't have to pay for them. That's helping. That's that's ultra improving my balance a bit. I don't want to keep my um, income set like that, but for now I may have to. Oh wow, that place has been wiped out utterly. Thrace is losing some stuff. Oh, God damn it, what was my navy doing down there? Ooh. There we go. Extra morale, extra siege ability. This is a nice one. The League of Corinthos uh, creates a... Um, creates a feudatory league under my... Under my um, territory. Uh, but, and I have to... I need to hold... I need to get rid of Diodaki holders of these places, though. Diodaki holders of these places. Select. Sorry, you two can come back this way to siege there out. I don't want the mercenaries here. Oh, I can't actually get there, that's why. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of purposefully murdering um, some of my vassals, some of my mercenaries at the moment, because they're too expensive. By sending them into aggressive sieges. There you go. They're really cheap now, I've utterly wiped them out. <laughs> That'll get the whole region for me. You guys put up there. Ooh. Despite his best efforts, nobody has any idea who we are. Yay. No, we can't peace out yet. God damn. 
This war has been a bit brutal, guys. Thrace offers assistance. Uh, I'd like the money, actually. I do like the way that you capture the whole region once you get the capital, get hold of the capital side of it. Oh no, Philippos, the eldest son of Cassandros, has been stricken with a terrible illness. Um, basically, he he's going to die no matter what I do. Um. Which is where I said I might get to use something. Because I am not going to have him take over because I don't want the stability hits. So we are going to anoint who's the best. Ooh, Alexandros. Eight military there. We are going to anoint Alexandros as my heir apparent. It's not necessarily ha make other people happy, but the other guy, my heir apparent, is going to die anyway. Oh yeah, I, I can't do it with these guys because they are, um, so all of these guys who are in the war with me, I can't pull out of the war separately because they are actually owned by, um, the Antigonids. Oof, Thrace has hit back there nicely. Try and catch them there. This is risky, but nope, nope, they're not. I w I should get it. Let's murder some more mercenaries. There we go. Basically, they assault until they run out of morale. Get the Athenians out and capture some of the islands here. That would be helpful. Bond of childhood. Ooh. Yeah, they've become friends. It's good. There's something else I can do now, isn't there? Chuta. Uh, our royal tutor has been summoned to educate the reluctant young Alexandros in a manner of our choosing. The nature of the tutor is most important indeed. So we should choose an intended tutor subject here for you. Uh, what's he bad at, to be fair? Uh, finesse. He does not like this. Uh, religious bureaucracy, that's going to be finesse. Worried they're going to try and get behind me, but I can potentially deal with that if they do. And again, I don't care if the Merc stack dies. By standing here, I can scare them off a bit, and I can reinforce myself if needs be. Uh, nonsense! We should put more faith in our subjects. Let's hope I don't get murdered. Yes, Thrace can now go through my territory. 
Wow, Frace and um, the Antigonids are properly going at each other here. Let's launch another assault. This is foolish, but yeah, I thought that might happen. They're sneaking around behind me. But if we can capture here. The thing is, I can also potentially um, pull some of these guys off. Um, the um, Antigonids, so... We'll end the plot. Finally! Basically, this war, if these two piece out, I need to piece out fast. My vassals are actually still doing the job. They're going to recapture there for me, hopefully. Oh god, no, 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 no. I'm happy for them to leave, but I do not want to be facing all of that. Move the Merc stacks back up to here. Woo! Yeah, he is staying here, that's fine. I'm moving the rest up to here to get some food. Come on, recap it, guys. I think. I think I want the discipline, guys. <laughs> Damn! Oh, that's not good. I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Oh, why did I move? Come on! Even if they get there in time, I'm not sure I can win this now. Damn it! That meant I've lost my siege pro progress. No, I didn't utterly lose the legion. I thought I'd lost the legion utterly. Getting another levy up. It's not really a great idea, but I need the forces at the moment. Whew. Victory! But at what cost? At what cost, guys? See, they wouldn't even white piece yet. God, Thrace, however, is absolutely kicking their butts over there. I'm saying is come on thrice you are saving me so much how are they 
barely getting through. Oh, they're just trying to siege it. That's fine. Come on, I need here to fall. But they've got less food, so it is falling quicker. You, I actually want here so I can take Salmus. See if they've got any fortifications there. Single Legion. They should be able to take it. And I'm not risking everything just in case the um, Antiquated na Navy comes. Oh, nice. There we go. Perfect. No reason to stop just yet. You can go back on to independent operations. can drive the Phrygi Phrygians out of here, I've won. Especially with how much Frace is... F how well Frace is doing. They have pieced out, so I probably should try and piece out soon. Damn it. That means that they can actually start bringing much more... Oh, God! Ah, oh, you Time to head home because we are being battered in the north. God damn it. I don't like these wars. I'm definitely not piecing out until I've captured that, recaptured that. Why are Thrace letting them through? Yeah, I didn't even realise they were go they were up there, if I'm honest. I don't need everything up here, however. I'm gonna leave a small stack down here just to keep an eye. God damn. Yeah. My it's completely my mess up there, Simon. Um I was too focused in down here, and now I'm gonna have to move away, which means I'm potentially gonna lose stuff down here as well.
Again, I should have just given up Corinthos for the time being to avoid this war. But that's hindsight for you, isn't it? I'm gonna go straight in there. Oh, that's falling so goddamn fast. But these places shouldn't have much food, so they should, if they're falling that fast, so I should be able to recapture them fairly quickly. And my Vassal Swarm is here as well. Let's avoid that for now. Their bigger navy is what's killing me here. I love the fact they've been ripped in two, though, already. That is not good for them. <laughs> Somebody's joined our court. Let's go grab them back quickly. Attachments allowed. Why am I not allowing attachments? Smeg it. I want this dump. Oh god, that was foolish. Not allow Pella to fall. That is definitely not. Can't be allowed to happen because that would kill me. No! My king is dead. So we can't have another war like this. Oh, but I can get the last of Eagria. Er er uh, that one. And what does this give us? And we make a city. Let's get to work then. Oh, I'm spending a bit too much money. See, I wish I could just get stuff back. That's the horrible thing about these wars. I want to get a bit more morale first, ideally. Oops. Come on. I am not doing well here at all. In fact, I am getting my butt kicked backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. Uh, no, Eridano, I've, I've just got a bit of early access in order to be able to show it off to you guys. Um, and get my butt kicked by the Antigonids. I should have... No, I, I, I can say I should have pieced out earlier, but I didn't have a chance. By all means, they can become a client state instead. At least we're going to win this one. I want to get straight out to there, get there captured because that's a fortification.
is what a new feature? Uh, seek spouse from one of the other families. I'm just going to do it that way. The war exhaustion thing, it's it's part of these these wars you can get high you can get war exhaustion, um, be forced into a peace from these wars. So you don't end up taking too much. Let's try and recapture them quickly. Basically this war is gonna end with basically nothing changing hands, I suspect. Oh, I don't know. It's not something I've actually seen before, so possibly. Try and capture them. Oh god, I can't afford that. Yeah. This one is, this mechanic's not actually new. This mechanic was in a little bit ago, but yeah, it is goddamn brutal. I was doing quite well earlier as well. That's the thing which is even worse about it. Oh God, they've got more coming in. Should win that. Uh, you guys are going to pull back just behind for the time being. And we've literally wiped entire regions out here. It's been that brutal a war. Um, but with the new military um, things, it does seem to make it that much more fun because obviously everything's that much more. You don't have that. You can't throw as many legions around straight away at the start as you were able to before. So, um, no, Philippos has died. We knew that was going to happen. That's kind of why I was letting him. Kind of why I disowned him. I want to move back and capture these, but at the same time, I don't want to go too far away in case they turn around. How am I doing down here? Okay. I was doing really, really well until Frace peaced out. Oh, Thrace. Thrace are the big winners of that war. Oh, Seller Kids have taken a chunk too. And Egypt has just been sitting there doing nothing. Let's get my goddamn mines back. Yeah, um, the new eye is a lot cleaner. It's really making my brain hurt remembering where everything is, though. But that was to be expected. Right, let's try and get Chalkis back. I do have some big stacks, so I need to be careful. Why? How? Ugh. Just running away to there is annoying. Running away to somewhere in my own territory. 
I do not have a clue coding. <laughs> um, William, th to be fair, the only really big difference is the military. Um, is It's basically a UI thing. It's the military tab. So you get levies rather than for most people, uh, which is all to do with how many people are of integrated cultures. Um, uh, Surreal Beliefs has done a couple of videos on the new features as well, if you want to have a look at them. Uh, so that should tell you. Go, go have a look up for his things. I mean, you say that, William, they managed to get Stellaris to work on a console, so if you get Stellaris to work on a console... Right. I could steal Athens off them. Quite easily. Do I just end this now, guys? Or do I fight on? I am basically in a world of pain at the moment as a nation. But I could keep fighting for a bit. The issue is if I keep fighting, I may not be able to keep going. Much long, You know, it, it, it's keeping going for as long as I can. I'm going to try and take Chalkis anyway before I do anything. I'm going to try and grab these places, actually, before I do anything. Here they are. We're married. Oh, I've got to take there before I do much. Um, Athens is fine at the moment. I, I'm... Ooh. How do I colonise? I've got colonisable territory. Ah, there. There we go. <laughs> I have more forces than that. I'm going to... I may regret this. I'm going to keep going. Stability. And my war exhaustion... There we go. I may regret this, but for now, I'm going to keep it up. I do have a manpower problem. <laughs> it's still going up, but I'm I am basically really low on manpower. I'll take the hit. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to clean up a little bit, then peace out. And I want to try and capture this because I should be able to get more than just Athens, but I don't want to lose Athens. I may have to recap it, but it shouldn't be that bad. I've got more forces than them here, so I should be able to take them. I really need to capture here first. Oh god. Seek treatment. Seek treatment. He's got dysentery. Oh god. My king has dysentery. Sorry, my Basilius has dysentery. Oh, they're going to capture Athens just before me. I can capture it back. I can get it back.
get there now. I might even be able to get there first. Come on, Athens, hold. Uh, yeah, because we're in a Diadaki war, it becomes mine straight away. Even though I don't have a Diadaki, this war started beforehand. Come on, we need to get there fast. All my troops, this is definitely risky, but... Where is my navy hiding out these days? Oh, there. Perfect positioning. Nice, we cured ourselves. Perfect. I've been dragged into a war up here and I'm about to be invaded there. It is time to peace. Damn it, it's a tiny Thors. I really need some local mercs. Again, I don't want to... I'm, I'm playing it, I'm, I'm, it's, this has been quite brutal, I've played quite a bit of it, but I can't, I don't want to say anything which could be a, deemed to be a review, if you see what I mean, um, because of all the bits and pieces, but yeah, um, I've never quite got, what is the difference between all the different things? So feuditry gives me manpower rather than money. Is that the only real difference? Oh, is that it? I hadn't realised. I've got 9 million Diplo slots, by the way, at the moment, through uh, the new tech system. I have... let's see. Oh, no, I'm at 5 of 5. So, yeah, I'll feud at Truth them then, for the time being. I think I am going to have to peace, because I, I don't... I'm dealing with this invasion up here is a pain. Ah, okay. I had not realised that. I have actually turned a couple into um, client states already. Um, but I'm planning on integrating them, so. I've got to peace out, guys. Um, it, otherwise, I'm just going to end up bouncing back and forth. I think peace out for the time being. Um, oh, yeah. There's something else I want to do down here. Uh, you create the League of Corinthos long run, which is helpful, but... Um, yeah. Is there a decent Merc stack I can hire? Which I can actually afford. Mercs, 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 Mercs. That's what we need.
can't afford any. I can definitely afford this one. Well, maybe I can't. I want to get these two bits stuck. Okay, cheers, Simon. Everybody else is going to go there. You are being sent north in the ships. Oh, God damn it. They've got more there now. Bugger. Uh, I, I've, I've got to get troops up here to, to defend now. I've, 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 I've messed up. Uh, no, I've been, uh, I've been uh, thrown it by paradox because I'm a content creator and I've, I've probably played. Quite a bit of this compared to a few, uh, compared to a few others. Um, right, I'm gonna get these guys up north by ship, um, and deal with this, and then I'm gonna peace out because I I messed up there. That said, I'm gonna have a quick bash of their, bash at them first, and I'm gonna grab here quickly on the way. Yeah, I know. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. So you guys can actually stay here. You guys can get on the ship, because that should be enough in the north. No, I could probably say a bit more than I do, Alex, but I'm only little. And I may have messed up and broken embargo slightly on the Crusade on Crusader Kings 3. So I want to be exceptionally careful. Um, I left of, uh, basically after this video is gone, I can't leave it up until launch. And I uh, may have accidentally done that with Crusader Kings 3. So I want to be extra careful at the moment because I don't want to annoy them at all. Where is it? Here. Let's keep that going the right way. I'm definitely going to have a force up there now. Yeah, extra stability. That's always nice. Let's go chase these guys out of my territory. Preferably before they capture here. Come on! And then I can get rid of all these mercenary stacks which are, are crippling my economy. Oh, God damn it. Let's just recap there quickly as well. Oh.
they should recap there for me if they're not useless. They're apparently useless. Oh, I thought I'd taken it already. I'm going to chuck these guys back on the ship, and then we're going to do it. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, they're not that one. Ooh. I could induce them to leave, but there's no point in me doing that, because there's no benefit for me in it. Oh, Antigonus is done. Oh, God. They're gone. Oh. Well, the war ended. <laughs> and I didn't get anything. God damn it. Are we worth us doing that one now then? <laughs> Literally, if I'd done it before, I'd have got all that territory. But that makes me so much safer. Uh, levies, levies, levies. Disband all levies. This is going to be painfully expensive. Oh, wow. Okay, I say I got nothing. I got some shiny territory over here. And here. Which family is scorned? Can I give them this? I don't know. Uh, you're rubbish, but you're going to get it. I assume because of the wars going on, um, I'm not complaining, but it's a bit weird. <laughs> If, wow, silicates have got a huge amount, though. What's weird is there's still an Antigonid levy there. Oh, they've got Cyprus. So they do still exist. I'd like the income one, please. I can uh, influence pretenders to cause a civil war in the Antigonid Kingdom. <laughs> Not sure that's really useful at this point. Yeah, I've only got my um, legion left. Let's bring them home. Um, to be fair, this is... I've played two games as Mastodon, just to give it a quick go, uh, blitzing through, not really paying attention, and one as Rome. And this is the most border gory I've seen it. Um, 
last time Rome expanded and stayed together and then absolutely kicked my butt. <laughs> and the time before that, that the, well, actually, the Antigonids were also huge that time, but the last two times they were huge and didn't implode at all. But Thrace has become massive power. Scouring politicians, nice. Of the Athena, our agents have settled his name. Excellent. So I need, for this one, I need to control some extra territory. And I definitely can't go to all of these guys again. Not just yet, anyway. It could be that, because um, I didn't do that last time. Last time I gave it up. Um, but wow, yeah. And actually, I say, much as I say it's, mm, let's look at culture. So we've got some Macedonian culture there. Do we get any levies from them? No. Do I want to integrate these guys? That's the real question. Where is my culture screen? We've got quite a lot of Athenians. So there's still a small percentage, but hmm. It's a very tricky one because you do want to integrate people, but you don't want to do it too quickly. Um, I guess I should probably integrate somebody from this culture group if I'm going to be fighting over here because it will make it easier to integrate their cultures, won't it? Um, and it means I'll get more levies from them. So I'm contemplating integrating these guys. Because the Greek culture should integrate faster, I believe. So I'm going to put them up to citizen. That does integrate them. But it will lower my max happiness from my main culture group, obviously. Ah, Thrasellians are integrated as well. So why am I not getting more from them? That's quite nice. Interesting. Anyway, let's have a look at my missions. I need to take Iparus. I need to take stuff there. Iparus is our next target then. And some of these little guys I am going to start integrating if I can. Gonna deal with Iparus first. Whew. A 
And the Council of Antibat has sent an envoy proclaiming the harvests have been good. Uh, Antipateria? Province of Fres... It's over there. Ooh. Give it to the merchants. Give us some cultures, so some... More Mac good Macedonians. I am so skint. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing I want to do. do, 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 do. Everywhere but my capital, sorry, I want on auto. For trade, that's really, oh, I need to also redo this because I'm bleeding people a little bit at the moment. Try and get my nobles a bit happier. Uh, what can I actually get? It's a little hard to tell what you can actually get. There we go. Ink, I just need... I'm going to put it up to speed four for the time being while we're waiting things to happen. But a little bit of just chilled downtime. Uh, Zangdros, at last, desperate to act to save Maston from bankruptcy. Oh dear. But we're not bankrupt anymore, guys. <laughs> Whew. So what do you guys think? Should I integrate one of the cultures over here? Carrion. Should I integrate one of these guys? Does that actually help me integrate these guys quicker, do you know? Do, 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 do. Our intrigues in Athens have been a resounding success. Ooh. Uh, with our partisans under the leadership of, however I say him, taking the Archon's chair and inviting our garrison back into Athena once again. Nice! Athens is mine. That's going to be another war. But then again, <laughs> it's going to be a war with the ridiculously weakened Antigonids, which, let's be honest, is not going to be a problem. I'm really annoyed I didn't get, I lost there, but it is what it is. I do also need a bit of time to build my manpower back up. Ooh, we've got a military tradition. So, military tradition, traditions. Obviously, I have access to these. If I go into places and embrace a culture from them, I can also access a lot of the others. I'm going to go straight for Arms the Hire, uh, which gives us extra Macedonians, extra morale, ext uh, reduces mercenary recruitment cost. Um, 
Yeah. I will have a quick look for you. I have not done it yet. Um, we do have some wonders, and as you get bigger and get prestige, they do buff and give you various different buffs as they get bigger. But say I wanted to build one in Pella, obviously I'd go to buildings. Great wonder. Oh, not available. And I'd, I'd choose how it looks. Yeah, various different choices of how it looks, and yeah. Or you can choose buildings, pyramids, or temples. Um, and yeah, you just build the Great Wonder if you've got all the things, which is quite a lot. And it gives you buffs, depending on its tier. Um, so there you go. And I can change what they do as well, so, you know, I can choose from various things. For the buffs it gives us at different levels, which is quite cool. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with it yet, because I, I can't afford one. But yeah, I've not really looked too much into the Wonder Builder yet, so... Um... So when I take Iparus, guys, should I bring them in, or should I nom them up? Should I uh, bring them in as a... I think I'm going to bring them in as some sort as a as a feudatory or a client state, uh, a feudatory if I can, uh, simply because it gives me more military power. Um, if you would want anything else, like again for anybody who's new, just started watching, guys, I am more than happy to answer questions. If there's things you want to see on the UI, just let me know, and I will have a look while I'm not getting my butt kicked around the place by the Antigonids. Oh, scandal! Uh, we will conduct a fair investigation into this matter. I hate these ones. Oh, nice. This is good. I get to eventually uh, integrate these guys as well. Let no stone go unturned. Stone go unturned. We will have justice. A new ruler is born. Oh. Uh. It'll deter us. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him as Cassandros. I am so tempted. I, I want to go to war with them. Oh, my war exhaustion is low enough. I've not got the um the claim yet. None of the local cultures are integrated, but we do have. Hmm. I love the new macro builder because you can destroy buildings through it as well, which is gorgeous. I'm going to build a marketplace over here somewhere because that helps pop assimilation speed. I mean, getting them to start assimilating in the first place is going to be the problem. I want to avoid wars over here for the time being. I mean, I probably want to start... I say that, it's probably a really good place to integrate. Ooh. Let's improve my relations, because I think keeping Thrace on side at the moment is probably a very, very solid idea. Uh, oh. Before we do this, let's just check. They are allied with 
must sell it somebody over there, so that's not a problem. Right. I'm not going to raise my little levy. I'm just going to raise. This should be enough. Oh, Frace, why? Why are you insulting me? I'm not liking that at all. I want to be your friend with my bellicose stance. Basically, I'm, I'm going to be ultra aggressive here. We're just going to smash into, um, into Iparus, then make them a feudatory because, yeah. I have had a couple of bugs. Um, I'm in an early access build, so bugs do happen, guys. I'm not in the build you guys will be getting. Um, well, I'm not in the build which will be dropping tomorrow. I, I get a different build, so it's... Uh, it's effectively one of their early builds I or you, you get access to when it's like this. So you do see bugs. I've actually, you know, and actually you, I generally try and feed them back if I see anything major. Um, uh, I don't want to, I can't say too much Hammond because it's not out yet and I'm not really meant to review. But just, uh, so I'm not going to say pros or cons, but it's, it's changed so much since it first came out. I mean, it, it's... It's a massively different game now. So much has changed on it. Um, which is great, actually. I really like... Oh, I... Yeah! <laughs> Oops! Yeah. Uh, but no, it, it's changed. It's, it's evolved so much, which is great, actually. Uh, bits of it in like new game. I suspect we're going to see lots of new. I suspect we're going to see lots more changes. The thing I think we will probably see at some point soon is, because if I'm honest, the UI is really good, but it looks to me anyway. It looks a little disjointed to the map, and the map the, the, see always um, doesn't. I don't. I don't personally think quite fits it. So I think we'll probably see updates to the map in future. Uh, to make it a bit more clean, like the new UI, because the new UI is very clean, uh, whereas the map has got this mist effect, doesn't really quite work with that UI, but that's, that's a stylistic thing. Here we go! I've got to hit here first. I probably should have sent somebody around here, but... Um... Wow, that fell quickly. None shall hide! I need the money. Oops! I may have accidentally wiped the province off the face of the map, guys. <laughs> ah, damn you, Frace. Then again, I have got I have got so many feudatories and things, I'm not exactly worried. As soon as I take here, this'll this'll be over. It is one of the things I do like. I like, um, I, I do like the way it's an old thing they changed, the way that sieges work with, with food and stuff. And that the new military mechanics are interesting. Um, uh, it's tomorrow, Hammond. The public version will be coming out. I think everybody gets access to everything. I don't think there's a... No, there is a... I don't think there's a paid DLC alongside this one, but I could be wrong with that. Um, no, there is. There's a contact pack to do with the Antigonids, but I don't know if it's paid or not. I'll be completely honest. I probably should. Um, Rome is coming along nicely. Atoria. Rome did not go for Atoria. That's unusual. Carthage is doing okay. 
the Selekids are fighting Moria and losing from the looks of it. And Armenia, though, they're, they're winning against Armenia. Oh. Let's mute my phone, guys. That was very bad of me. Ah, okay. Heirs of Alexandria paid. There you go. I have been corrected. Um, yeah, I do think I've got new missions with this, which I did. I just wasn't sure. No, Alexandros is ill again. And I can't afford to seek treatment. Ah, cool. Cheers, Alexander. Um, yeah, um, I just wasn't sure or not, but I mean, certainly, I mean, it's a very interesting mission chain here. The Antigonids are the ones I think have got the most change. I've not looked at the others, though some of the others did already have some bespoke new mission trees, so I might just be tweaking it with them. I'm not, honestly not sure, though. He is about to fall, and the lovely thing about the way it's done is... None shall hide. I want your money. That uh, is, all of this will automatically fall to me now. Um, if they're not in it because I hold the capital of the province, it all automatically falls. Oh, no, there's a, there's a fortification here. So I have to take the fortification before it all does, actually. So I have to hold the, the, the capital... And all the fortifications within the region. So forts aren't just for sitting on the edge. Eh? Ipirus becomes my feudal tree. Yep. Dominate Iparus. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice. Let's disband my levies. Because when my levies are up, my uh, obviously my um, my people aren't working, uh, producing stuff at that point. Oh, gain some legitimacy. Ah, cool. Paeonia Macedonies. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to basically integrate these guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Macedon may annex and uplift pa Paeonia and Macedonian tribes. Of course we're going to do. The warlike tribes of Paeonia occupy the northern valleys leading into bar Barbaria and have clashed with Macedon. Often, uh, it is time to finish these hill dwellers. Uh, da, 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 da. All territories are annexed. They could be useful. Uh, they will change government to a monarchy and become feudatory subjects. Oh, that's nice. Oh, situation stable. Feudatories or just integrate them, guys. Feudatories are good because they provide you with troops in wars. Basically, they give you extra vassal swarm, which is always nice. Um, and it potentially means I don't have to worry about my northern borders because they will provide that barrier for me in the north. Uh, what do you reckon, guys? I know I've got to wait about 30 seconds because of the stream delay. Um, while I'm waiting to see what you guys think, let's have a look at them. Agrian recruits. That's the next one. Gives me less army attrition. That's good. And Western hegemony. We've got to get a few, pick up a few things for. But I want to work on the League first, for reasons you will find out later. Andros, you need a claim made on you. If anybody's going to reply... <laughs> And while we're waiting, let us build another marketplace over here somewhere. 
help with the integration. I am thinking, as I'm not getting any response, guys, I think I'm actually going to feud at Tree for the moment, because I can then integrate them later on if I want. Um, and it provides me slightly more Vassal Swarm, and it means they are a useful, literally, as it says, they are a useful buffer. This is the thing I'm thinking is really different about this, with the way the new Levy and Legion system works. Feudatories and client states are so much more useful than ever before. Because actually, um, because actually, as a feudatory, you know, as all these things, they give you much, much more. You know, the fact they give me troops. Whereas if I can troll them completely, they are different cultures. As such, they wouldn't give me troops. Yeah, you know, they wouldn't give me levies. Whereas because they are their own culture, they give me they don't give me levies, they give their lords levies, so they actually do have the ability to You know what I mean? You see what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so they're actually useful to us basically. Right, we're going to have a little bit of downtime, and then it's going to be another war down here. Because the Antigon let's be honest, the Antigonids are not a threat at all. Um, just probably up my navy a bit. Yeah, no, it's, it, it makes feud, how can I phrase it, in the old thing, they were nice, Vassal Swarm was powerful, but it also always felt a little bit, oh, murder, a travesty, um, ugh, oh, you'll do for now, it always felt a little bit like they were useful, but not forever. Um, and it will probably still feel that way. How can I phrase it? I almost think I will slowly integrate people because if I integrate a few people at a time, it makes it easier to convert their culture. Um, and obviously we've only got two integrated cultures at the moment, which are still good. Um... So I want to start working on this one, so I need to pick off all of those places in the next few wars. Ooh, that's literally owned by... Egypt. I'm going to have to annoy Egypt at some point, which I'm not looking forward to. Um, that could be a hairy one, let's be honest. Can I? No, I didn't think I could. I've not had any achievements pop up, which confused me. Um, because I've, by now I've usually had at least one pop up. Uh, okay, they've lost some opinion of me, but it's helping my things. And agrarian recruits. There's no point not doing it. Oh, I must have accidentally clicked that. So you usually get a choice to n this mission. You usually get a choice to name this city. One of three things. I must have accidentally clicked it when I wasn't paying attention. When I was fighting that desperate, desperate war. Uh, nobles, again, I want to make happier. It's a little hard to tell what I can actually get hold of. Well, I'm not making my nobles happier. Um... 
Hmm. Let's get some iron then. Up my heavy legion. It's a bit. As you are at it, let us tweak my legion. Let's give them another heavy. And an engineer. So engineers are a new type of cohort, guys. They basically mean you work your your sieges go better. And I think it's one per ten. If you've got for every I think it's one per ten. Um with the the uh, engineer cohorts. Basically they Ah, there we go. Oh I can't hover over this one. Typical. Um, but I think it's one in ten, so if you've got an army of ten and you've got a le an engineer cohort in it, it means that you don't take any negatives to the crossing rivers. Which is really quite nice. It's quite expensive, but upping my legion. Now the thing that does, is it will reduce the amount of levies I can get, because it does take them from the population. Okay, soon, soon we will have a beautiful war down here. See, this levy is now much smaller, but my legion is better. I should be drilling my legion as well, to be fair. I also love the difference in look, so my legion obviously looks really good. I mean, my levies look really good, but uh, that's my levies. They still look good, just not as good. Oh, it literally raised on top of my legion. I always like having high stability, so I'm going to do that. Oh my god, I've got zero aggressive expansion. This is, like, really weird for me. You guys are going to march this way. This levy is going to just smash into here. Athens is fighting a war with the Antigonids? What? It's probably just a war they've been stuck in since beforehand. No, they're, they're definitely not. Holy vassal swarm. <laughs> Oh, it was, I, I selected my ships. That's why I was really confused. A new military strategy. It seems Philippos has really taken to his job as general. And he has stated... A reworking of the whole military infrastructure. He knows best. Oh, nice. Uh. Now, interestingly, I seem to have managed to miss an event which happens sometimes as well. Which is quite good. Because sometimes you have a little bit of a succession crisis between... 
Alexandros and um, one of the other brothers and you effectively end up fighting a civil war or losing a butt ton of stability. Um, and I think I avoided that by anointing another heir rather than um, the one who died at the start. Oh, the little tiny unticketed navy which used to be big. I'm gonna... Where is my navy gone? You come back here, please. I want to put some people down there. I'm a little concerned I might get in... Oh, yeah. There we go. I've been invaded over here. I kind of knew that was gonna happen, but I don't really care. It's over there. It's not the war goal. Once I've dealt with everything over here, I can push back over there. Not realise I'd sent him there. Ooh, Sparta's. Oh, I was going to say Sparta's getting strong. Sparta's gone, guys. And, and, ooh. Oh crap, he's not loyal. Try and make friends with the person who's in charge of my army and really disloyal. That is not a good thing. Exotic gifts. not happy. He's my uncle. I think. And let's just rotate the armies around. Oh, I can't because he's, yeah. Because he'll do what he wants to do. I shouldn't noticed from there, to be fair. Nice, that's giving us lots of other buffs now. Um, you probably missed me taking Iparus. That's about it, coding. We've been a little bit more. Ch <laughs> There's, since the end of the Wars of Diadochi, it's been a little bit more chilled. Um, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at war with the Antigonids again. I'm just trying to take here and get push them out of here utterly. And then we are going to have to poke Egypt, which I am not looking forward to. I might wait until we're at war with the Silicids to do that. Um, but again, because of the new system, depending on what their primary culture is, 
they are still Hellenic, so their primary culture, they're not going to actually get a huge amount of legions, though it depends what other integrated cultures they've got. Can I actually see what integrated cultures they've got? Um, but yeah, so they, depending on what they've integrated, is going to be the, yeah. Oh, and I've, um, brought these guys in as, um, feudatories for a quest, which is really nice. Really? I need to go over and start recapping this territory now. One day I'll have something I can actually get here. chase them down wherever they go. You two are going to sail there and start recapping territory. It's all going well. I've said it now. It's going to go horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> A bitter feud, the court is bustling with sycophants, claimants and pretenders. It is of little surprise, therefore, that two of the most ambitious claimants to the throne have found themselves at odds. Let them fight. If they kill each other, so be it. Ooh, I want to go recapture there, actually. Oh yeah, I can go f take all of this as well. Or oh, I can attack all of that. I could just go straight for their capital. I've got to say, it would be fun to play as the Antigonids and let yourself split apart and just see how you cope. Ooh, Rome. Rome is looking scary. Drought. Ooh. It is our responsibility. I'm going to go hit them there. How big is that? Yeah, I should be able to deal with that. Considering it was my territory, I should be able to see where the capital regions of it are. There it is. Because all I've got to do is cap them and the rest will fall back under my control. Ah. I should have gone to war. Yeah, that's what I did wrong. I should have gone to war with the Antigonids rather than the nation, because then I could have, then they'd have brought all of their tributaries in. Nice! I think... 
gonna say. Some of these are really good, the war ones, but I think I actually want to go for some military ones now because I've been neglecting it and army weight modifiers and stuff like that is very good. Oh, let's turn off planning mode. Because, you know, making my army use less supplies is always good. These are special ones for us. A bit more discipline, actually. There we go. Again, I'm not, I've not gone through all the techs. So I'm probably making a few quite rookie mistakes on them, but I'm not, I, I, I don't play for the, you know, going, oh my God, I've got to have the perfect meta, if you see what I mean. I, I play for fun, so. If I get the meta right, that's all the better, but. Uh, extra siege engineers to make sieges go quicker. You're probably better. Well, no, I doubt you're better just going down once. A ruler is born. What happened to the previous ruler? Let's push down this way for the buffed up sieges. That's nice. Ooh, engineering core cost reduction is also good. Hi, Theo. Sorry for that little little army stuck there. Just to check we're all okay over here still. Yep. I, I kind of want this to tick first. Let's just check, is there anywhere else? Basically, I want to get them taken out of this war before I uh, peace out, because then I can take them. I can take them before I finish, which actually helps um, with the mission. Because if I declare war afterwards, I'm breaking a peace treaty. But if I declare war on them individually within the war, that's fine. Nice. Fall now. I'm amazed they've not invaded me here, to be fair. Trade influx. I'll take the citizens. Start capping a few places. A bit surprised they didn't all join. All Crete has formed. Rome is big. Do you need to worry? Because Rome does get missions to come at me. None shall hide.
Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's going well. This is a, a bit of an easier war than last time, guys. Wow, that would be, um, yeah. But I'm not ready to peace yet. I've had a look at it. Um, probably not at the moment. I've just... In general, too busy, effectively. Uh, which is a terrible reason not to do it, but, um, yeah, I missed it. And if I'm honest, it's, it's always tricky because playing this now is really good. Um, but sometimes playing things, if I miss when they come out, it's, I will probably play them, but I won't necessarily play them on my channel, if you see what I mean. Um, especially something like that, it's very 50-50 whether people will actually like it. Smash them. Oh, wow. I've actually learned to lose there again. to like me. I'm a coward. With good reason, to be fair. As long as I start the wars beforehand, I can actually, uh, Ooh, sneaky little buggers. Gone to war with these guys now. Can I bring my navy back this way to go and recap all of this? You are. You're a client state. I am going to integrate you. I can't at the moment. I'm a four of five. I can actually swap this to a neutral stance, which gives me one more relation as well. That's going to help at the end of this war. Uh, yeah, there's a, um, that's, that's an old thing. Um, there's a noble pop type as well, which just gives far more. It's basically an uber citizen. So it's like a citizen, but it provides much more than a standard citizen does. Oh, for God's sake. I'm okay on that. 
I've not been paying enough attention to what's going on over here. Right. This is foolish, but I'm just going to assault it. See if we can cap it quickly. That's one of them done. Sounds daft, I want to finish the two little wars before I finish the big war, because that makes life a bit easier. So I capture here, then there, I should be good. Embezzlement. Uh, I need to cap here. Oh god, that's a really high level fortification. That could be fun. Oh god. Why are you disloyal again? Let's end this one. You become a feud tree, you become a feud tree. The Antigonid Kingdom becomes a client state. If they become a client state, do all of their vassals become mine? Let's find out. The Antigonids are now my client state. Oh, wow. As it should be, guys. And my vassal swarm has grown even more. Uh, Goddamn disloyal generals. I should have replaced him when I could. Just reduce his power a bit. Hey, this Vanillostic lead. The League doesn't really matter anymore because they're not part of the, um, they're not held. Hmm. This is going to take forever with this level fortification as well. This is foolish, but let's see. Just in case. Just in case. Oh my god, it won. Ah, I'd have to client state them. Oh well. Let's, rather than client state them, let's take them over them.
just an access left. I don't think he's got a fortification. Oh god, I should have um, got some more morale first. Doesn't matter, we got it. That was foolish of me though. them to the sword. There we go. I, I think that you could say that was a fairly successful little war, guys. Good God. I need to sort him out, though. He is problematic. This is power base. Where is he getting that power base from? Hmm. Take the gold. All right, let us spend some money. Marketplaces for the assimilation speed. Over in our shiny places. Yeah, it, it's... Without the pop-up, I'm not sure how to find that. Do you know where they hide that, Simon? <laughs> I'm asking you where they hide it, and I'm the one who's got access to the new UI. <laughs> Sorry. Nineteen more, wow. Yeah, I, I, I could also just anoint him because, yeah. He has far more support. So my legitimacy is not helping me. Well, his legitimacy. It's because he's young. Yeah, it, it would be nice to have a better thing. I mean, usually you get a pop-up and you can just click between them. I don't know why I'm not seeing that at the moment. I don't really want to go giving too many people free hands. Let's do it to you. Let's see if that does it. I guess I could. Not that he's very popular anyway. He is just a about 
Right. This is gonna annoy him, but tough. Uh, so legions change. Somebody nice and loyal. He's really goddamn good. He's a minor character. I don't think he's from a house. I could adopt him. I'm not going to, but... It's a bit weird. You've still got that there, but you've got to do it through the Legion screen. Again, early access build, guys. And you can... I love this. You can also assign se secondary commanders as well. Uh, just in case you split, want to split the army. Oh, God damn it. The Elemonid are... And the Al... They are have too many. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. I now have control over my army again. So many, <laughs> so many uh, puppets. Feels good. Unfortunately, I have to annoy Egypt next. Some of these unintegrated, that's nice. Again, I, I really need to spend a long time going through all of this, working out exactly what to go. Oh, that's cultural assimilation. Pop assimilate, 10%, that's lovely. I want to head towards that. <laughs> it's miles away, but. There's just so many texts, it's a little overwhelming, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little overwhelmed by that. I mean, with my Vassal Swarm, ugh, fighting Egypt is going to be a tricky one. I, I'm going to do it as a, I want to take the territory and just grab it and force peace as quickly as possible. How big is their ridiculously big navy? Can I see? 58 ships, so actually I'm not that far off. Let's keep pushing my navy up. I want my navy to be substantially bigger than theirs, not just a little bigger than theirs. What? Little concerned by Thrace. That said, my vassal swarm is powerful. Ooh, I have claims. I did not realize that. Or maybe I inherited them through the Antigonids, but you know. It all seems to be going well now. It's a bit calmer than it was earlier, but, you know, we're getting there. Eventually, I'll actually finish this mission. Oh, yeah, I should probably start doing a claim that way. Ooh. Demand us the... Oh, I hate this one.
Here, we'll try it. I don't think this one... I've never seen this one actually work out well. I definitely don't need more stability at the moment. My stability is huge. Mastonian is spreading pops are doing well. One day I'll have enough pops that I'll get levies in other places. One day. One day. Oh, God damn it, I didn't take. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. It's mine. Grant him. So I just need to push the Egyptians out of here to perform the league. I could. I've been. I did consider it earlier. I could make another cultural group accepted. I don't really. You know. Um. It's just working out who's worth it. Um, I mean, I could bring the Athenians in, but I'm going to be dealing with them, so I'm not going to waste them. Um, and some of them I'm going to be bringing in. I was considering some of these guys, but they're all a bit... I mean, they're not huge cultures. I did consider like these guys. Uh, but I'm not going to do it yet because none of them are quite big enough to be really worth it. Uh, what I have been doing is doing things to help my integration a bit. Which you can do through building buildings. Um, I mean that's not going amazingly if I'm honest. I can't believe the Antigonids are my vassals. <laughs> that is nuts. New ruler. I do love this if I go into my Allegiant here. Um, we can see its history, so all its major battles. Which give us various things, various buffs. Oh, I need to move them out there, I'm starving my population. For the fun thing, I'm definitely raising my lead, raising my levies first. This. Is going to be fun. Get myself into position first, then we are going to go to war with Egypt. This is dangerous. Uh, 
This view. Or do you mean when you click into the province? I'm not sure. I mean, you can access everything for administration like this. Um, or through governorships. But it doesn't give you the individual territories, I don't think. Oh, they're not daft. Basically, I need to pull these guys off the Egyptians and then smash the Egyptians here. And while we're at it, let's start getting a clip. No, I need 100 um, influence after this as well for the next mission. Hmm. This is going to be fun. This is potentially suicide, guys. Because I, I am going up against Egypt. Which, if you've not noticed, are a little big. But, at the same time, I don't know if I can actually see them military. We have the Vassal Swarm. Let's slow time to three. We've lost a lot of our imports there because they were all from Egypt. Here goes. Hmm. Wood is good for manpower. make my nobles happier. Happy nobles is always worth it. Let's get some honey. Why did it still so Egypt on there? There we go. That'll do for now. Oh, you down here. I don't care about the pirates at the moment. Okay. Wish me luck. Can feudal trees only be of a certain size, by the way? Do they have to be small? Hello, Zenvox. Murder! Eh, not dealing with it right now. Hmm. Damn you, Italy. Wants to take here will be good. Pulling here out is also good. I need to get these guys off the Egyptians and my fleet needs to watch for any large Egyptian navies coming at us. He's reasonable. Yes. Oh, damn. The Agathid have got extra.
Oh, he's not from a family. There we go. That'll fix it. So giving them a much better commander. I don't feel quite safe enough to go for that just yet. Hopefully my vassal swore will be able to deal with them. Fourteen twenty-eight. Allow attachments. Support, support, support. Okay, this is going to be a good naval battle here. Wait, did I wipe that place out? Oh. They have split off from Egypt. At a particularly non-useful time, this is going to be um, fun. Big naval battle. Come on. We can win this. We need to win this. If I beat them on the seas, we're in a really good position, even if they've got some forces ashore, which they didn't. We got this. And we are close enough home to home to replenish. Nice. And we stole a load of their ships. So that's the main threat of the Egyptians dealt with. That was their navy was their main threat. Um, <laughs> That's annoying because the war goal no longer exists, which makes winning this war... Yeah. Well, this is going to be fun. Peculiar... Peculating official. I'll take the money. still at 100%. I think it's time for a little invasion. Oh, he's really good. Or free. I'm going to go hit Koss. And then I'm going to do something potentially suicidal. I'm potentially going to try and sail down. And actually, I'm not going to try and take there. But I'm going to try and hit, take some Egyptian territory. Just to try and get the war score ticking my way. It's a high risk move, but... I said this is ticking my way already. have unsurprisingly already been flattened there and I am being flattened over here. I am going to leave costs for the moment. I am going to head over to my territories over here to smash the Egyptian armies there. Because Kos is a sideshow and my vassals are already fighting there. We've got reasonable vassals here. I just need to keep an eye for the Egyptian navy bringing up troops d directly into Greece. It's Greece herself. If I can push them out of there, that's good. And then if I can push down the coast a bit, 
Oh, in fact, I can literally push from there into Egypt. That's a perfect place to push. Eh, I'll take the growth from the commerce by embracing piracy. Yeah, no, so I'm going to invade through here for now, and I may even take some Egyptian territory. Oh, for God damn loyal. Disloyal people. I can't be dealing with civil war. I will give them free hands. I hate giving people free hands because it doesn't actually help the long run. Go on independent operations for now. Let's go smash them, then we're going to push back and recap all of this. War score is ticking my way. All I really care about is Andros at this point. That will allow me to get the League of Corinthos. And that's all I actually need to take here to get get the whole region back. Ooh, maybe I should have sent a few more troops there. They can have access. Small Egyptian navy there. We're okay over here. good. That's really bad. Oh god, they've brought more troops here than I thought. God damn it. And I'm trapped. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Oh, they hired the mercenary stack. I am going to get stack wiped. Oh, this is bad. Retreating right into them. Oh, this is painful. I need some mercs. You're telling me there are no mercs anywhere in the world at the moment. I can literally see some. I may not be able to afford them, but that's a different matter. Oof. 
And they're gonna hit me again. What's annoying is if I hadn't gone here, I'd have probably won it by now. Oh, go for it, Vassal Swarm. Buff my heavy infantry offense a bit. I have been stack wiped. That is really bad because that means I've actually lost pops. No! God damn it. Well, that didn't go well. It's dead. I have to re... No, not doing him. <laughs> yeah, you did get to see the feature where Levy Pops can die. Um, they don't seem to have lost too many, but yeah. Because um, they got stack wiped, I will have lost some Pops. Um... Anyway, guys, it is uh, da, 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 20 to 1 in the morning here. I am going to be streaming again tomorrow uh, about 11 o'clock my time. So that's 11 o'clock GMT for a little bit. Um, so feel free to drop in then if you're awake because uh, a lot of you guys will probably be different time zones. Thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated, guys. And obviously, if you have enjoyed this, please give us a like and a subs like on the video and a subscribe. Uh, the video will be going down for now, but it will be back up as soon as the game goes live for all of you. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And an extra special thank you to my Patreons, who really, really does help uh, produce all of this. Thank you all.